this next video we're going to have a look at the body of the pancreas. Now the pancreas is divided into um, three parts. We've got the right limb, the body and the left limb. In dogs, the right limb is considerably easier to scan than the body and the left limb. Uh, in, for some reason in cats the, the reverse is true. So in cats the body and the left limb are more readily imaged than the, the right limb. Doesn't matter how uh, experienced you are or how good your ultrasound equipment is or what your patient is like, it's never very easy to scan the pancreas. If you have an obese patient, poor ultrasound equipment, or if you haven't had much experience, it will be harder. Um, and with a, with a little bit of practice, these can become easier to scan. But because uh, in no dog is the, the pancreas guaranteed to stand out no matter what your experience and so on, what we're really trying to do is look in the region of the pancreas using anatomical landmarks as a guide. And then if we can see the organ within that region, great. If not, we're not gonna to worry too much about it. Typically, if we can't see the organ as being distinct or the tissue around it, then we typically assume that that's an animal with an, at least an ultrasonographically normal pancreas. Just bear in mind that it is possible for an animal to have pancreatic disease, but it's still to appear normal on ultrasound scan. For the purposes of this video, we're just going to look at the body of the pancreas. And to do that, we're going to start by uh, placing our probe in longitude and or sag specifically sagittal plane up against the costal arch. And we're going to acquire a view of the stomach. If you're not happy with getting a view of the stomach, then please have a look at our other video uh, from the previous series on how to, to get an image of the stomach. Once we have an image of the stomach uh, in the video, as you can see we've got here, we're going to get it into the center of the, uh, of the screen, into the center of the image. And then what we're going to do is to fan to the dog's right, so down towards the table, until the stomach and specifically the pylorus at this point have disappeared from the image. Once we've got to that point, we're then very slowly going to fan back the way we came, so back up away from the table towards the dog's left, until the pylorus comes into view. So just there we've got our pylorus starting to come into view. At that point, just point your probe a little bit more cordially so that the stomach or the pylorus swings to the left of the screen slightly. And then we're going to continue to fan up away from the table, so towards the dog's left. And as we do so, we're going to look towards the bottom of the screen and we're looking for the appearance of the portal vein. So as I come up very, very slowly, watching the screen, good boy, and uh-uh, good lad. Just there, we can see at the bottom of the screen the portal vein appearing in the image. At that point, where we have the portal vein in the image, as we have now, and we have the stomach in the image, if I freeze the screen there, we can now see, a re what we're going to do is look at about four o'clock on the stomach, so d down and to the right, if you like, on the screen, and adjacent to the stomach, there's a region uh, of tissue, roughly triangular in cross-section, of almost identical echogenicity to the, to the surrounding mesentery. That's the body of our pancreas in cross-section. Now on this image you can't make that out particularly distinctly, that's fine, that, that then counts as uh, ultrasonographically normal, as I said bearing in mind the caveat that that does not necessarily mean it's disease free. To quickly recap then, what we're going to do is start, sorry Ash, <coughs> with our probe midline, take a sagittal view of the stomach, so we get our picture of our stomach on the screen, we're then going to fan down towards the table until that disappears, then we're going to fan back up very slowly until we pick up the pylorus again. Swing the pylorus slightly to the left of the image and then very, very slowly watching the screen, we're gonna to continue to fan up until we get the portal vein peeping into the image just there. And at that point, we look down at about four o'clock, sort of off the side of the stomach, and that's the region of our, the body of our pancreas cutting cross section.